Gentlemen, the reason I've asked you here is to discuss a matter of grave importance that could become a problem. Now, there have been reports of women being sneaked onto this base and into the men's barracks. Uh, these individuals, as you might guess, are women of easy virtue. <laughs> Persons of loose character. Women who deal in meretricious traffic. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yes, ma'am. Hookers. <laughs> I've heard about it, ma'am, but uh, I assure you it hasn't happened in my barracks. Well, it has happened on this base, and we have proof. Lieutenant Whipple, would you explain further? Oh, gladly. Hi. <laughs> I have here in my possession concrete evidence of these, uh, shall we call them, encroachments. In fact, I have here an 8 by 10 glossy picture of a young lady scantily clad. She was photographed by a concealed camera as she was coming out of a barracks on our base. Scantily clad. <clears throat> uh, sir, I haven't seen that picture. <laughs> well, gentlemen, there's your proof. Are you suggesting we post extra guards for night duty because of these incidents? Possibly, in order to keep closer tabs on your men. Talk to them. Remind them that any man caught bringing a woman into the barracks will be dealt with severely. Very severely. That's all, gentlemen. Carry on. <clears throat> Lieutenant... May I see that picture again? Rodriguez, you better hurry up, huh? You know the chief don't like for the men to use his phone. Prove it in a minute, man. This is important. Please. Sí, negro. Yo sé, pero es que estoy desesperado, man. Ella me escribe todos los días y yo every day no sé nada lo que le ha pasado. Llámala porque me voy a volver loco. Sí, sí, tiene que Rodriguez. Oye, tengo que sacar el teléfono. Si tú la ves, tú me llamas inmediatamente. Sí, negro. Bye, bye. Rodriguez, what are you doing? Phoning in an order to Taco Bell? <laughs> you know you're not supposed to use that phone. Uh, excuse me, Chief. Uh, I'm going to have to take some of the blame for that. You see, Rodriguez had to make this emergency phone call, and I figured it'd be all right. What was the emergency? Well, you see, sir, he hasn't heard... Throw it. Let him tell it, huh? Rodriguez... What was the emergency? Well, you see, Chief, I, I have this problem. Lo que pasa es que mi novia no me escrito. Yo me estoy poniendo loco and I don't know what to do. I know what to do. Turn you over to the immigration. Good. <laughs> you better tell me. Right. Rodriguez gets a letter every day from his girl, and he hasn't heard from her, and he's sick about it. How long has it been since you heard from her? Almost a week. Almost a week. Where does she live? She lives in New York. She lives in New York. Through it, this part I happen to understand. <laughs> Who are you calling on that phone? Oh, well, that was my friend Ramon. And he thinks maybe my girl went back to Puerto Rico because she was lonely in New York. How could she be lonely? There's more Puerto Ricans in New York than there are in Puerto Rico. <laughs> well, she was lonely for me. So, Chief, I would like to ask a favor. Could I get a 10-day liberty? You want to go to Puerto Rico and look for your girl? You'll get lost in the bananas. We'll never see you again. <laughs> Nothing doing. Besides, you had liberty after your graduation. But, Chief, I'm worried. That's it. You can't go. That's for sure? That's for sure. <laughs> now, get lost. I want to talk to the men. Chief. Now, what is it, Pruitt? Rodriguez really feels bad, sir. Well, I'm sorry. Well, if you could let him go just for a few days, it'd be really a nice gesture. Really nice. You really think so, Pruitt? I really think so. Well, I'm really not going to do it. And you know what else, Pruitt? What, sir? You're breathing into my eyes and you're making them tear. <laughs> now go line up the men. Yes, sir. Take down, Dick! At ease. All right, listen up. Just left the captain's office and we got a warning. Seems certain women are getting onto the base and into the barracks. You know the kind of women I mean. Hookers. Really? Yeah, why, Skullnick? You want to take a shot at it? No, sir. Well, it's not going to happen in these barracks. Remember that. Any wise guy that thinks he can get away with it, better think twice. You've all been warned. Carry on. Uh, Chief, 
Uh, Chief Sharkey? Rodriguez, what is it? What is it now? I, I want to ask you again about the liberty. Solamente por dos o tres días. Que me estoy poniendo loco. A ver si me encuentro mi novia. Which means, I just want to find my girl. Which means the answer is still no. <laughs> Hey, I saw your light. What are you doing here so late? You working? No, I'm taking a hot sits bath. <laughs> of course I'm working. <laughs> well, I was just on my way over to the cheese club to have a little uh, taste. You want to go? Well, I better hang around here. I'm, I'm waiting for my guys to check in for the night. Why? Don't tell me you're worried you might try to sneak a female in here. That's right. Are oh, you really a worrier, huh? That's why the skin on the top of your nose is all pinched up. Bring your eyes close together. <laughs> Makes you look like an angry owl. <laughs> Come on, let's go have a beer. Believe me, nothing will happen. Just tell your master at arms to keep a sharp lookout. That's what I did. Well... Pruitt! There you go. You see, you can't keep clucking over these kids like a mother hen. That's what you do, you know. Cluck, 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 cluck. All right. And do you mind? Get off my desk. Okay, okay. Well, sometimes I lay my head there. <laughs> yes, sir? Uh, oh. You called me? Yeah, Pruitt. Now, listen, we're leaving. You, you know about that warning I gave the guys? Well, I want you to keep a sharp eye out for anything that looks suspicious. You talking about members of the opposite sex? No, I'm talking about members of the Knights of the Moose. <laughs> of course I am. Broads, broads. You don't have to worry about that, Chief. Because I just happen to be going on night watch now, and I'm going to have my eyes and ears peeled. Yes, sir. Hey, Rodriguez, you're just going to sit there? Aren't you going to sleep? No, I can't sleep. Hey, don't let it get you down, my man. Ask the Chief again tomorrow. Maybe he'll let you go. I'm not going to ask the Chief nothing. I'm going to go anyway. You going on unauthorized absence? Hey, man, I have to find my girl. And if I have to, I'll go to Puerto Rico. Wow. That's all the way in the Philippines. <laughs> hey, look, what do you want to do a stupid thing like that for, Rodriguez? You're only going to end up in the brick. That's OK. It'll be worth it. Listen, you're making a big Don't do it, man. Let me tell you what you want. Oh, oh, boy. Hey, oh, you know, how did she get in here? Oh, my goodness. Here's oh, my appearance. Uh, Rosita. Adolfo. Amor mío, pero qué sorpresa. No, bueno. ¿Por qué no me escribiste, amor mío? Estaba loco. Hey, you guys. This is Rosita, my girl. What are you doing here? I was so worried. I thought maybe you went back to Puerto Rico. I could not stand it in New York without you. So I took a bus and I came. I have not slept for five days. Ave Maria, you were able to find me. Yeah, yeah, Rodriguez, you better get her out of here. You're going to get into big trouble. That's right. What a Pruitt Caesar, huh? Pruitt. Forget about Pruitt. What about the chief? The chief. Good brothers, I think we ought to pray. Sconic, I don't know who you gonna pray to, but man, we need all the help we can get. Amen. You better get out of here, man. Do me a right, favor, man. Uh, really, all of us. Okay, 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 okay. What do you want me to do? Throw her around the street? Why can't she stay here? Here? Are you crazy, Kowalski? What if the duty officer came around and shined his light on a girl in the bunk? Well, he can't tell anything if she sleeps on her stomach. Can't she stay here? In the barracks? No, in the chief's office. Oh, oh that's just right. 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 No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, the chief never sleeps here, and he doesn't get in until after morning chow. So Rosita sleeps in his office, and the first thing in the morning, she walks out of the gate like one of the civilian workers on the base. What do you think, huh? I think I'm going to get my track shoes and make my move. <laughs> Come on, we're wasting time. Someone should walk in. Let's go. Kowalski, get a blanket. Daniels, grab that pillow. James, watch that door. Come on. Just to be sure. Come on. We're going to put her now under the bunk, not on the bunk. Under the bunk? Yes, under the bunk, because someone could see her from outside. Get the blanket under there. Put the pillow under there, too. Come on. 
Oh, I don't like now, this. Get her under here, too. Ben, mi amor. Just believe me, man. It'll work. It will work. Will you just relax? Ven aquí, mi amor, okay? Buenas noches. No te preocupes de nada. Ay, cuidado con la cabecita. No te preocupes, amor. Yo vengo mañana y te traigo más. Come on, come on, Rodriguez. Go, Rodriguez. Come on. Wait a minute, Rodriguez. Duerme, Rosita. Buenas noches. No te preocupes de nada. Que yo vengo mañanita, okay? No te preocupes. Now listen. You just make sure that you get up early enough to get her out of here, okay? Okay, okay. Hey, Mignone, you guys, thanks a lot for helping me out, huh? That's all right, Rodriguez. We all got to work together. Yeah, we're going to be working together, all right? We're going to be working hard on the chain gang. <laughs> What do you think? Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. <laughs> Just making my rounds, Chief. Sorry. Eight bells and all secure. Good. <laughs> well, I'll see you, Rob. Wait a minute. Where are you going? You're not going back to your office, are you? Yeah, I better hang around. You never know. There you go. The mother hen. Good night, Robinson. <laughs> Imported jobs. I don't understand. No sé lo que dice. No comprendo. Come on, talk English. Talk English, huh? How'd you get in here? Where'd you come from? Como? Como? Who's Como? I don't understand. Men out there? Huh? You. I say to you. You say to me. Understand? Slow. Slow. Men out there, huh? which men bring you into officita <laughs> and put you under bunkita, bunkita? Which men? All men. All men? <laughs> you must have had a fiesta in the barracks. <laughs> now get up, come on, get off, get off. Oh, wait a minute, sister. You're not going any place. The party's over. Right here. We're gonna find out how you got in here and who's responsible. Como? Who is Como? <laughs> Could not nurse. Who's that? 
the Secretary of the Navy in drag. <laughs> Where you been, Pruitt? On duty, sir. I can't understand it. I, I thought I saw everyone that came in here tonight. Well, your glasses must have cataracts. <laughs> Oh, I should have guessed it, Rodriguez. How did you get across the border on a pickup truck under a load of lettuce? Wait a minute, Chief. I can explain. Oh, you're both going to get yours. You're going to go to jail for... Uh -huh. You're going to the brick for... Uh -huh. Wait a minute, Chief. Wait a minute. I can explain the whole thing. This is my girl, Rosita. You know, the one I was worried about. And she came all the way from New York to see me. I have not slept for five days. And that's why she was in here. You see, it was so late, and we didn't think you were going to be back so soon, but I was going to take her away first thing in the morning. You expect me to believe a story like that? Oh, but it's the truth, Chief. I swear. Rosita, él no cree que tú eres mi novia. Explícale que tú eres mi novia. Sí, es la pura verdad. Ella me vino a ver porque estaba solo en Nueva York. Hold, hold, hold. If I didn't believe you in English, how am I going to believe you in Spanish? But it's the truth, Chief, I swear. Right, guys? All right. Yeah. He's got a good yeah. story. Yeah. It's really yeah. chilling. Well, all right. Say you're telling the truth. You go to the barracks and get dressed. Then you get back here and you take her out to the gate. In fact, send her into town, but get her out of here. Oh, Chief, but where's she going to go so late at night? And she doesn't understand the language too good. Well, that's not my problem. Just get her out. Yes, sir. Rosita, tú me pera aquí. Okay, the rest of you guys, break it up. All right, you heard the Chief. Go ahead, out here. Go ahead. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, 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 hey. Get off there. Come on. Get off. Get off. Come on. You can't sit here, sister. Come on. Got to get out. Let's go. Oh, uh, good, good evening, Lieutenant Whipple. It must have been a very good evening. <laughs> I, I just looked in the window. I couldn't believe my eyes. I still can't believe my eyes. Come on, Rosita. Get up, huh? Get up, huh? Oh, <laughs> come on, come on, huh? Come on. Come on. Uh, I have an explanation, sir. Just stay like that, huh? Make it a good one now. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is the girlfriend of one of my men, Rodriguez. Uh, she came from New York and she hasn't slept. So they plan to let her stay in my office overnight and get her out the first thing in the morning. Ha! And you permitted this? Oh, no, sir. I was just trying to keep her awake until Rodriguez got dressed so he could take her off the base. Why doesn't she just leave here? She found her way in. Why doesn't she find her way out? And I will have a meeting with you in the morning with Captain Quinlan and we'll discuss this, this, this whole sordid affair. Carry on. Hi, I sir. <coughs> I'm ready to take her now, Chief. What? Uh, I will take Rosita out of here. And, uh, Chief, I'm sorry if we made this trouble for you. Rosita, ven, mi amor, tenemos que irnos, ven, despierta. Wait, wait a minute, Chief. Sir, uh, leave her alone. Oh, but you said she had to go. I know what I said, but leave her alone. She can stay here tonight. She can? Yeah, but she has to get out the first thing in the morning. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, go to your bunk and get some sleep. Yes, sir. Chief Sarki, usted es una maravillosa persona. Buena persona, buen corazón. Bella persona, bella. Bella, bella, yeah, bella. <laughs> Rosita? I must go now. No, no, Rosita. You can stay. The man, the other man, he said I must go. Oh, the lieutenant? Well, if it was his idea, el dumo. <laughs> you can stay. Sit on banquita. Pillocita. <laughs> eh? Flanquita. <laughs> Take off juice. Juice. <laughs> You go El Sleepo. Nice, El Sleepo. Gracias, muchas gracias. Señor. What? Where is Adolfo? Who? Adolfo Rodriguez, my boyfriend. Oh, he's out there in the barracks. Oh, that is good. He sleeps there, and I sleep here. That's right. You sleep here, and he sleeps out there. And let's keep it that way. <laughs> hey, 
And, 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 and after I had instructed Chief Sharkey to get rid of the girl, I found out, much to my astonishment, uh, that she'd actually spent the night in his office. Spent the night! <sighs> Lieutenant Whipple, Chief Sharkey has already explained the circumstances. Who the young lady is and why, for her safety, he decided to let her stay. Yeah, well, well, if you'll excuse me, that's the part I can't swallow. I mean, uh, why his office? Why his bunk? <laughs> Lieutenant, I believe Chief Sharkey's story, and I believe he acted wisely and sympathetically. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> However, young lady, in the future, I suggest you arrange your visits through normal channels. Do you understand? Si. Yes. Carry on, Chief. Aye, aye, ma'am. Come on, Rosita. <laughs> All right, Rosita. You can go back to your boyfriend. You can see him tonight. Senor, I do not know how to say... Muchas gracias, senor. <laughs> we better get out of here, Rosita. Como? Who is Como? <laughs> He's out of here. This is the last time you'll be seeing CPO Sharky at Comedy Central because this is his dishonorable discharge. 37 episodes running until 7 p.m. tonight. Patty's.